And then they just told me to let the kids stay on the ground. I stayed on the ground. I said, officer, I'm not going to say anything. I was just laying there because I didn't want to get hurt anymore. Um, I was laying on the handcuffs. The handcuffs was cutting my wrist. And I did say, officer, I said, the handcuffs are cutting my wrist. And um, he didn't say anything to me. You know, um, then um, they said that an ambulance is coming. So I just uh, patiently just lay there and kept my mouth shut because I didn't want no more harm to come to me. And then the ambulance had came. Um, they finally picked me up and got me on a stretcher uh, with my, I'm laying on my hands. The handcuffs were still cutting my wrist. I was telling the paramedics that they're hurting. They're cutting my wrist. They're cutting the circulation. And um, they proceeded to put me in a truck. Uh, I couldn't really see that I was in the, uh, in the, um, in the emergency vehicle, but I knew I was in there because I kept feeling I was bumping and then I was in the ambulance. Mm -hmm. And then um, they said, what hospital do you want to go to? I said, take me to Strong. And I believe that they proceeded to take me to Strong. And I kept going, I went to Strong. When I got there, um, I laid there on the bed. I said that the handcuffs are still cutting my wrist, please. I said, they're cutting my wrist, they're cutting my circulation off. So they kept them right there. They were laughing and joking. The uh, nurses and stuff said, no, we can't remove the handcuffs because you're under arrest. The officers has to do that. Um, then um, after a while, by me waiting, the officers finally took the handcuffs off. They wrote a piece of paper and put it in my pocket. I didn't know what it was. But when I was able to see, it was a parent's ticket for me to uh, report to court on the 14th of May.